New to the climbing tower? This guide is aimed at new players on their first climb and contains a lot of skips that will make your time at the tower a lot easier. First off, to get to the tower, you'll need to walk up the route to the right of the mines and to the back of the quarry. If there are rocks here, you can break them with a Turabata shard. Go through the hole. There is a long linear route here. You can't get lost. You will eventually reach the small forest. You start at the bottom of it, and you will want to get to the top left part of the small forest. Every generation is random, so you will need to find your own way through. Once you get to the top left, walk down the ramp and to the bridge. The bridge will cost one redwood core and 150 redwood wedges. If someone else has climbing on the server, the bridge is likely built already. Keep going, and you will eventually reach the tower. Walk down the stairs to start the trial. The tower is a lot easier if you can run without needing to press in the joystick. You can turn on Auto Run in the main menu here. I highly recommend it in general. Remember that you can leave the tower at any time by putting your hand on the first orb again. Before you start, I recommend getting the hang of launching yourself. You can practice on this wall in front of you until you are comfortable with launching yourself. You can also practice on the chains behind you to get the hang of launching horizontally. Make sure you put your hands on the very top of the brick to get the most power into your jump. When launching, do not move your hands towards yourself, and do not move your hands away from the wall. Move your hands straight down. While climbing, you can run out of stamina. You can see your stamina from your left and right hands on your wrist. Grabbing objects makes you lose stamina. Shaking your hand brings it back. Once you are comfortable with the mechanics of climbing, you can climb up to checkpoint 2. Climb up the blocks to your left. You can stand on this block to reach the one above. Climb around the wall like this. Run and grab. Alternatively, you can launch yourself from this brick to skip a little bit. Walk across the log and climb up the bricks. Climb up onto these logs. You can make sure the orb on your belt is inside or on top of the log, and you will stand on top of it when you let go. Walk across the log. You can launch yourself here if you are cool, but if you are new I recommend walking to the right instead. You will need to horizontally launch yourself across these bricks. Hopefully you practiced on the chains earlier. Next, climb up around the corner here. This is the last bit. You will need to climb underneath the bridge, and then you can get on top of it. Make sure you have full stamina for this part. Here, you will find checkpoint 2. Put your hand on it, and you will respawn here. If you do not get every checkpoint, you will not be able to finish the tower. Checkpoint 2 is noticeably harder than checkpoint 1, so just do your best. Climb up these chains and onto this brick. You can launch yourself across these three chains, and then up these bricks. 
Alternatively, you can launch yourself through this hole in the wall and get to the other side. Here, you can climb on the toothpicks and get up here. Or you could just skip all that if you're good at video games. This bit is really easy. Just grab the top and launch. Walk around the wall and up these chains. This next jump can be pretty tricky. To make it easier, you can step back in your room and after you launch, step forward again to move you closer to the brick on the other side. Climb up the doorway and fall down these bricks so you don't respawn. Climb up these two chains. Then grab this stick to launch yourself over to the other chain. Climb to the other chain and walk down and over it. Grab the wood and launch yourself over. Alternatively, you could step in this hole right here. Crouch a little and walk towards this lip right here. Then you can simply climb up these bricks and chains until you reach the top of right here. Run off the side and fall down these bricks. Okay, this is the last bit you need to finish for checkpoint 2. Just get to this door frame up here. Just climb up these bricks up on the wall. Once you get to this bend, be careful and make sure you have full stamina. Climb on the outer wall of the tower. In order to rest here, you will need to crouch down in real life. Climb up on top of these bricks right here. You can run off and grab the brick here to finish checkpoint 2. The way I like to go up is to walk across this narrow ledge right here and onto these chains. You can launch yourself off of this brick and get over to these chains and finish the checkpoint just like that. If you miss the launch, then you will likely fall onto the chain you climbed up already, so don't worry. Checkpoint 3 is easier and shorter, so you don't have to worry as much. Climb up these chains and onto this brick. You can climb these chains or launch yourself. Right here is a window to checkpoint 1. Run and grab like you did earlier. I like this part. Climb up these chains and climb atop these chains attached to the ceiling. You could also walk across this ledge and on top of this chain. Make sure you are standing up and set your height to maximum. Then run and grab. Climb down this brick and across the chain here.
you can reach across this gap. Climb up this chain here. Make sure you have full stamina for this part. You can reach across and grab all of these as long as you are quick enough. You can launch across if you are comfortable with doing that. Stand on this lip, crouch down in real life, and walk into this gap. All you have to do for this bit is just run and grab. It's scarier than it looks. You can see the fourth checkpoint from here. Almost done. Climb up here, and up and over this frame. Fall down here. Be careful for this part, as it's the last bit of the checkpoint. I like to climb over the chains and launch myself, as I feel it's more reliable. Once you finish checkpoint 3, you are now more than halfway through the tower. Checkpoint 4 is the hardest checkpoint by far. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. This is where you are most likely to struggle. But once you get through here, checkpoint 5 is a cakewalk. So don't give up hope just yet. Take breaks if you need to. Push through and you will get through. Walk across these logs. You can launch yourself from chain to chain or log to log, but it's a lot easier and more consistent to walk across them. Just make sure you look slightly into the wall so that you don't want to go full speed. Grab the brick at the end and pull yourself up. Stay on top of these logs and launch yourself over this one. You can make it here if you run. Run and grab. You can run across this gap. Remember to recharge your stamina for this part. Climb up this log and onto these bricks. Try to climb the side of them as quickly as possible. Holding onto the bottom of the bricks uses more stamina. Through the doorway and to the left, climb up these bricks. Grab this bit right here, and stand on the ring ledge. Here is a major skip for checkpoint 4. You will want to walk across the ring, and fall down onto this brick down here. Climb up the wall, and up this protrusion here. Recover stamina in this little cubby. Then continue up. You can walk up this chain and run across to the other side. Climb up this log. Walk across and up onto the next door frame. More than halfway there. But this part is tricky so stay calm and persevere. The next checkpoint is right over there. Fall down this chain, and try not to fall off like I did here. Climb up into this small cubby. Watch out for the toothpick above you. You could go around the rim and then continue, though Going through the middle is a little easier in my opinion. You'll want to crouch for this section. Grab the logs and climb on top. You'll want to climb on the ceiling here across the T. Make sure you grab the side quickly, and launch yourself a little bit at the end.
up and across these logs. This is the last bit. Climb down the brick and across over to the other side to reach the fifth and final checkpoint. Checkpoint 5 is hard, but if you know the skip, then it's easy. You can run over this gap and be fine. Up the wall and over this thing. Climbing up here is very simple. You can go this way and do the checkpoint normally if you're a massive dweeb. Cool people take the window skip. Walk across the rim here and step down onto this ledge. Fall onto the window right here to skip more than half of the checkpoint. This entire section right here is now something you don't have to do anymore. This is the only reason why checkpoint 5 is easier than checkpoint 4. Climb up this brick and crouch onto this ledge. Run and grab. Climb around and up. You can recharge your stamina here. Make sure you climb up the side, not the front. Climb up and around. You can get onto the brick to the right and then fall down. Run across this platform until you reach the chains. Get yourself to the other side. Only three more obstacles until you are done with the tower. Climb up these chains and land onto this chain above you. Now climb up these chains and onto the final bit. This is the last obstacle. For this part, you can run out of stamina, so be careful. I recommend launching yourself with both hands, and then climbing left, right, left, right. Also, make sure you climb from the side instead of the front. Once you get to the top, you are done. Put your hand on the altar to teleport down. You have successfully completed the tower. One last thing I wanted to put here. If you have completed the tower already, you can skip checkpoint 1 by walking back up the stairs. You should only do this if you have completed the tower already, as checkpoint 1 is a much easier place to practice climbing mechanics than checkpoint 2 is. If you start learning to climb in checkpoint 2, the tower will be a lot harder for you. Also, remember you need to get the second orb. You need all five orbs in order to finish the tower. If you forget one, you will need to go back for it. But that's everything you need to know to finish. I'm sure you will hate the tower on your first go around like I did, but it genuinely gets more fun the more you do it. I'm not sure why, I may be going insane. Just try to have a good time with it, and you may persevere. Just have fun climbing.